What's up, everybody? This is Tuba Solo coming at you with another gear discussion. We're back discussing the Soto Windmaster stove. For anyone that's used it or really done any research on it, you know that it's a terrific stove. Um, it has absolutely exceeded any of my expectations on the uh, few trips that I've been able to take it on. There is one drawback to this stove, and this is kind of the purpose of this video. Um, this stove uh, doesn't like to nest very well in a lot of systems. If you got a chance to take a look at the video that I did a couple weeks ago, I'm going to go ahead and link it in the card on the right hand side over here. Go ahead and check out that video once this video is done. Um, I kind of got uh, to looking at the Stoto stove and thinking, you know, hey, this thing is great, but uh, what can I actually fit it into? What are some of the systems that I have? and um, how can I make it work to go ahead and nest it into some kind of a system. I said it in the previous video, I'll say it in this one. Us backpackers, we like to, uh, we like to um, comp compartmentalize things and put things in their proper place, and especially with our cook kit, we try to nest things and try to save space as much as we can. So what I have before you here is yet another couple options, and if you'll notice, uh, what I mentioned in my previous video that the Snow Peak 600, uh, Titanium 600, the one right over here, was not really an option last time. Well, since that time, I've actually been able to find um, a uh, you know something that works uh, with that system. It's not actually nested into the cup, but I think I found something that could work if you have a particular piece of gear to go with it. On the left-hand side, we have the Titan Kettle exceptionally popular um, piece of gear quite possibly one of the best pieces of backpacking gear uh, to have ever been created right there the titan kettle um, you'll be happy to know that i found a way to kind of get the uh, soda stove to nest in there with the actual canister so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into this uh, video so here we have the soda windmaster as you can see, this thing is bulky. It is everywhere. Now, one positive about this is that you can go ahead and take these uh, flex, the triflex it's called, um, the triflex um, uh, arms. You could take it off for easier nesting. So that's definitely a positive. But herein is the issue, this right here, what you're left with. It's just massive. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and jump into the Titan Kettle cook kit first. And I'm gonna show you guys how to go ahead and nest everything into that. So let me go ahead and grab this guy. Um, this is my Titan kettle. I have used this thing extensively. It's kind of sat on the shelf as of recent because I've been doing um, the Snow Peak 600. Um, but this is a very viable option for a lot of people, and actually a lot of people use the Titan kettle. So why not find, uh, why not put together a video that shows people how to nest all this stuff together? Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do with the Titan Kettle is um, we need to place the canister inside the Titan Kettle sideways, okay? Now, I've noticed that with my particular Titan Kettle, it seems to be a little bit kind of um, oblong in this way, so it seems to fit a little bit better this way, but I tried it in all different directions. This setup should work without issue no matter which direction you place the canister. The bigger issue is placing this in here in a certain fashion where you clear this and the regulator knob. So let's see if we can get that on video and show you guys what exactly I'm doing here. So here's what we have in there. We have the burner head that's buried on the concave side of the can. And this ring right here sits right there on the edge. That is kind of the key to that to kind of bring it down low enough to be able to be nested in there. Once you have that in there, you just go ahead and throw your extra items in there wherever you can fit them. Right there. And we've got a nested system that not only has the canister in there, but also has the Soto Windmaster stove in there. As you can see, it sits flush. And we're ready to rock and roll with, with that guy. Now one other thing too, along with this I, uh, whenever I use the uh, MSR Titan kettle, since the top is kind of loose and um, always seems to kind of kind of get away from the pot, I always use a, a stuff sack uh, along with it. And what I do there is I just place this guy into the stuff sack and what's really nice, it kind of keeps everything 
together and keeps everything from falling out and then also creates kind of a koozie for the um, for the MSR Titan kettle. But there you go. That's how you nest the Soto stove into the Titan kettle uh, along with a canister. So let's move on to the next piece of gear, the Snow Peak 600. Okay, before we jump into the Snow Peak 600 and how we're gonna nest everything into that, I wanted, I kind of alluded to having a certain piece of gear to make this setup kind of work. Now, we already know that the Soto Windmaster, let's get rid of that thing, the Soto Windmaster doesn't fit in there like that. You would typically have to stand it up. But despite that, we're actually gonna go ahead and do something here where we're actually going to be able to put everything together and the key piece of gear in here that's going to make this happen is actually this stuff sack right here now you don't necessarily have to have this exact stuff sack but i happen to have the stuff sack that came with the uh, snow peak 600 and what it does is it allows just enough space space at the top to have the soda windmaster rest on top of the cup with the canister down i'll show you guys that in a second but really it's not necessarily that you have to have this particular stuff sack really any stuff sack of approximately this size should work and actually let me pull out the ruler and um, get a get a measurement on there for you guys to kind of give you an idea of what size stuff sack you should use okay so this the stuff sack length that we have is approximately seven inches okay so that puts us right there at about seven inches and I'll go ahead and put the metric conversions for this on here too on the screen. But we got seven inches by approximately, looks like five and a half inches. So if you got anything that's close to that, uh, this can probably work for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and put all this stuff together. Now, typically what I do whenever I use this 600 um, and I'm using the Soto stove is I'll go ahead and I'll place everything that's loose right uh, directly into the cup. So all that stuff will go right there into the bottom. And for those of you that own a, a 600, a, a Snow Peak Titanium 600, you know that it's designed so that the canister, oops, that's another thing that you wanna do. You wanna make sure that the triflex, the triflex legs are laying down as much as possible because they will kind of get in the way. But for those of you that own a 600, you know that it's designed so that the canister can sit facing down and it sits flush on the 600. Now, I think you guys probably know where we're gonna go with this. Essentially, all I did was just place that on there and then dropped it into the stuff sack. So let me show you guys what the final version looks like. And again, you don't have to have this exact stuff sack. You can get something close and it can probably work for you. But there you go. Nice small package. You got the Soto stove sitting on there. You got your canister sitting in there. You got all your stuff in there. Now again, you could possibly even fit a spoon in there. I don't know, typically I use the long handle Lexicon spoons. So I don't typically nest those into my system. I just kind of place them in the back of my pack wherever I can fit them. But uh, there you go, that gives you a couple of options. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I, again, this, this Soto stove is such an incredibly good stove and it's such a, such a bummer that it doesn't work with more systems. But again, this is four different systems that it could work, uh, work with. Again, I went ahead and I've linked everything up in the upper right hand corner, but the, the systems that the Soto stove can work with, uh, if you were looking for a one pot, one cup system, uh, you can use the Evernew 900 and the Evernew, uh, along with the Evernew 400 FD uh, cup and a one pot system. Again, this was in the previous video was the, um, the Snow Peak 700. What was nice about that is that the Soto stove nested in there perfectly and gave you tons of room to be able to work with. But yeah, this gives you now four different systems that you can utilize a Soto stove with, and hopefully this uh, this information uh, helps you guys out. Again, I cannot say enough good things about the Soto stove. So with that said, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you also hit that like button, and especially don't forget to hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss any videos. On this channel, we're always doing adventure videos, gear videos, and um, when I feel up to it, I actually do some uh, backpacking cooking videos. Hopefully some more of those will be coming up in the future. 
in the very near future. But uh, yeah, thanks again for taking the time to watch and uh, we'll see you next time.